Er kom mi fort five. Hello everybody. I will introduce how to use the Mi Fort 5 with the AirConf. Actually, the Mi Fort 5 is the same start as the Mi Fort 2. You need to go through the process of the Mi Fort 2 that I will put after this video. At the end of the Mi Fort 2, the AirConf is connected to this iPhone hotspot that can be an external Wi-Fi. The iPad is connected to the AirConf's Wi-Fi. When everything is working well, then the only difference that we have is actually you can connect the iPad to this iPhone hotspot or to the external Wi-Fi. Even though you connect this iPad to this Wi-Fi, you can still, you will be able to print. Just be careful. After you swap the Wi-Fi from the iPad to this external Wi-Fi or the iPhone hotspot, you won't have access anymore to the Aircon web interface. All these possibilities will allow you to select what will be the best and fastest way to send all the social or your app in the same time that you can print. It all depends how your app handles the multitasking of sending the social and the pool of the printing. Some app will wait that the social or the printing has not been sent, some not. Therefore, because of this, you will have to figure it out what will be the fastest way to optimize all the internet tasks of your app. At the end, this method, the app is connected direct to the Wi-Fi and doesn't grow through the aircon. That is the difference between the Mi Fort 2 and the Mi Fort 5. The Mi Fort 2, the iPad is connected to the AirConf and the AirConf is connected to the Wi-Fi. The Mi Fort 5, you can connect the iPad direct to the external Wi-Fi or the hotspot. Therefore, the iPad doesn't go through the AirConf. We avoid one Wi-Fi connection. Then it might be faster in this way that the iPad sent direct to the external Wi-Fi. Now this is the Mi Fort 5, then the, what we follow will be the Mi Fort 2. Hello everybody, I will introduce how to use the Mi Fort 2 with the AirConf. We use this Mi Fort to print from the iPad to the printer with the AirConf connected to an external Wi-Fi or a phone hotspot or, ho or a hotspot. With this feature, the iPad can print and remain co connected to internet at the same time. The iPad and the AirConf will be connected to internet. The AirConf itself is a computer and also a router. The AirConf will provide its Wi-Fi that we call the AirConf Wi-Fi. And to connect to an external Wi-Fi, you need this USB antenna to plug before to power on. Printer power on, then after you can plug the printer. After you plug the power, you have to wait two, three minutes until you see the SSID name of your aircon appear in the Wi-Fi list. Password, you enter this password of your aircon. Then after join. Now your iPad is connected directly to the AirConf in 5G. That is the default Wi-Fi mode. From there, you can print from the photo app to test that everything is okay. Then you open the photo app. You open one photo, share button, come here, select print, printer, you have a list of the photo format 4x6, 2x6, 2x4, 6x8. You have to be careful that the paper that is inside is the format that you selected. I select 4x6, print. It takes a couple seconds from there to print. The air conf will not tell you if the paper is jammed or the paper size is not the right one. 
you have to be careful that the paper that is inside and the paper format that you selected are the same. You can see the exact second it takes to print. Et voilà. The... Now I will show you how to to act, how to connect the aircon to an external Wi-Fi. For this, you need to connect the iPad has to be connected to the aircon's Wi-Fi. The aircon web interface is hosted by the aircon. It's not on the server outside in the cloud. The aircon web that therefore the iPad has to be connected to have access to the aircon web interface. If sometime you unplug the power, please just remember the iPad, the aircon Wi-Fi will be disconnected. Therefore, the iPad can automatically reconnect to your home Wi-Fi. Then after when you re-plug, -re you go on the web interface, it won't have access because you need to reconnect the iPad to the aircon Wi-Fi when you go on the Wi-Fi list. And to have access to the aircon web interface, you open Safari, then after you open, you enter the address 172.24.1.1 that is written here. From there, you have access to all the aircon setup. One of the simple way to try the Wi-Fi hotspot is to use the hotspot on your phone and also put a, try to put a simple name for your for the Wi-Fi then for this you go on general about name and you can change in our case it will be iPhone then after you go back you go back and after on personal hotspot you can also set up a Wi-Fi password as a simple one in our case will be one two three four five six seven eight then after your your set then after don't forget to put on your personal hotspot now we will connect the air conf to the external hotspot wi-fi from the iphone that the name is iphone and the password is one two three four five eight then you go on external wi-fi menu tap scan available wi-fi select iphone your wi-fi enter your password then in our case we use one two three four five seven eight save and connect then after we wait then in this step sometimes it can take three or four tries to connect because it is the wi-fi and the communication then after you have to wait that it will display the green now it is green it is connected the aircon has internet you can use the tools above that you have test internet connection or reboot if you encounter some issue you can use the reboot function then it will reboot the, the air conf and you will see that when you will go back on the setting the air conf will be disconnected and the the home wi your home wi-fi will be rec reconnect automatically to the ipad you have to be careful when the air conf will be on again then you have to reconnect the ipad to the air conf now the aircon did reboot, then you will see it appear again on the Wi-Fi list. Reselect the aircon to connect on the iPad, then go back on Safari, then go on re-enter the address 172.24.1.1, go back on Tools, test internet connection, then the aircon will try to reconnect on the last connection that he, he has in the list. Then he will try one time two times then after until you will see the green appear now it is connected here yeah. again when you use the aircon web interface you have to be connected the ipad has to be connected to the aircon the web interface is hosted by the aircon itself. Enter the address 172.24.1.1 on, on Safari. After when you select the printer menu, you can select to display or not display on the AirPrint printer list 
which format you want to print. On the, on the aircon Wi-Fi menu, you can change the, part, the aircon name, you can put your company name, you can change the channel of the 2G, you can also change the channel of the 5G Wi-Fi, you can select 5G or 2G Wi-Fi, the default mode is 5G. And finally, you can change the password to a simpler one, ABCD1234, or leave the password, the, the default factory password. Mi Ford 5N.